Hello, we are Irene Lambrou and Maria Erto Kurtu and we have created this video for the requirements of the course Artificial Intelligence of the Department of Computer Science of University of Cyprus. Have you ever talked to your computer? And no, yelling at it when your internet connection goes down or making polite shit chat with it as you wait for all 20 megabytes of that very important file to download doesn't count. We mean, have you really, really talked to your computer? where it actually recognized what you said and then did something as a result. If you have, then you've used a technology known as speech recognition. Let's see what is voice recognition. Voice recognition is the process of translating spoken words into text words on the computer. Through a voice recognition program or application, the computer is able to process words you say and turn them into text on the screen just as if you had typed them on a keyboard. Let's go back a little in the past to learn the history of voice recognition. The process of speech recognition began as early as the 1870s circumflex as when Alexander Graham Bell discovered how to convert sound or air pressure waves into electrical impulses. He wanted to create a device to change words into pictures that can be understood by a deaf person so that he could communicate with his wife. It eventually led to the invention of the telephone. This triggered a process of mathematical and scientific method of understanding voice. The earliest device to recognize voice was developed in 1952 by Bell Laboratories, which identified single spoken digits. In 1964 Edma's show box was displayed at the New York World Fair. In the 1970, the technology was developed further by ARPA Voice Understanding Research. The most notable discovery was that voice should be understood, and not merely identified. We know we bored you with a throwback. Let's see more interesting things about voice recognition. There are two types of voice recognition. One is called speaker-dependent and the other is speaker-independent. Speaker-dependent software is commonly used for dictation software, while speaker-independent software is more commonly found in telephone applications. Speaker-dependent software works by learning the unique characteristics of a single persona's voice, in a way similar to voice recognition. New users must first train the software by speaking to it, so the computer can analyze how the person talks. This often means users have to read a few pages of text to the computer before they can use the speech recognition software. Speaker-independent software is designed to recognize any one's voice, so no training is involved. This means T is the only real option for applications such as interactive voice response systems where businesses can T ask callers to read pages of text before using the system. The downside is that speaker-independent software is generally less accurate than speaker-dependent software. Voice recognition engines that are speaker-independent generally deal with this fact by limiting the grammars they use. By using a smaller list of recognized words the voice engine is more likely to correctly recognize what a speaker said. Here is the diagram of voice recognition. We are going to analyze the acoustic model and the language model. An acoustic model is created by talking audio recordings of speech and their text transcriptions and using software to create statistical representations of the sounds that make up each word. It is used by a speech recognition engine to recognize speech. Language model is used in many natural language processing applications such as speech recognition tries to capture the properties of a language and to predict the next word in a speech sequence. Nowadays voice recognition has an important use in medical transcription, in system control navigation, in voice dialing, in military, in training air traffic controllers. Voice recognition system has substantially added in high-performance fighter aircrafts. This system helps the pilot to control the various subsystem in an effective manner. Also is used in computer and video games. Speech input has been used in a limited number of computer and video games. The Microsoft Xbox, Nintendo, GammaCube, and Sony PlayStation 2 consoles all offer games with speech input or output. Also used in voice security system and in mobile phone devices. Who is voice recognition software designed for? Voice recognition software was initially designed for using in automated phone systems, like when you call the cable company to pay your bill and you talk with the machine. 
This type of software is also used in businesses primarily for medical and legal transcriptions. Which types of people with disabilities most benefit from this? Although not initially designed for people with disabilities, voice recognition software has grown to be incredibly helpful in this area. People with no hands or those that are unable to type for whatever reason due to their physical disability use this software to help with schoolwork. This would include blind students as well. Also, students with learning disabilities benefit. For example, a student with dyslexia that has trouble seeing the words they type accurately would benefit from the voice-to-text factor to get their papers done and they would also benefit from the text-to-voice factor seeing as they have trouble with reading words. Let's analyze how voice recognition works. Now that we've seen some of the basic things about voice recognition let's put them together and take a look at how the voice recognition process works. As you can probably imagine, the voice recognition engine has a rather complex task to handle that of taking raw audio input and translating it to recognize text that an application understands. As shown in the diagram below, the major components we want to discuss are audio input, grammar, S, acoustic model, recognized text. The first thing we want to take a look at is the audio input coming into the recognition engine. It is important to understand that this audio stream is rarely pristine. It contains not only the voice data, what was said, but also background noise. This noise can interfere with the recognition process, and the voice engine must handle, and possibly even adapt to, the environment within which the audio is spoken. As we've discussed, it is the job of the voice recognition engine to convert spoken input into text. To do this, it employs all sorts of data, statistics, and software algorithms. Its first job is to process the incoming audio signal and convert it into a format best suited for further analysis. Once the voice data is in the proper format, the engine searches for the best match. It does this by taking into consideration the words and phrases it knows about, along with its knowledge of the environment in which it is operating. The knowledge of the environment is provided in the form of an acoustic model. Once it identifies the most likely match for what was said, it returns what it recognized as a text string. Let's see the acceptance and rejection. When the recognition engine processes an utterance, it returns a result. The result can be either of two states, acceptance or rejection. An accepted utterance is one in which the engine returns recognized text. Whatever the caller says, the voice recognition engine tries very hard to match the utterance to a word or phrase in the active grammar. Sometimes the match may be poor because the caller said something that the application was not expecting, or the caller spoke indistinctly. In these cases, the voice engine returns the closest match, which might be incorrect. The most popular voice recognition software are Dragon Naturally Speaking, Ibnvia Voice, Microsoft Speech Recognition System, Mac Speech Dictate and Philips Speech Magic. It seems that in researching this topic, Dragon Naturally Speaking is the most popular software used. They even have an application for your iPhone. It has a 99% accuracy level, which is the best out there. The disadvantages of this software is that it is very expensive, about $200, and it uses a lot of computer memory. Now we will see an interesting video about the most popular voice recognition software. Enjoy! Wake up. Send email to Trish. Cap. One of those days. Exclamation mark. Go to body. Hi Trish. Comma. New paragraph. Had one of those days. Full stop. New paragraph. I woke up busy. Comma. I stayed busy. Comma. And I'm still buzzing. Full stop. New paragraph. How about you? Question mark. New paragraph. So. Comma. Earlier today, I started using that software you told me about. It's great. Activate iTunes. Write, select. I did what you said and made lists and stuff like that. And it keeps up with the ideas as they come. 25 October. 
Select, down, subtopic, pull. And you know me, the ideas come really fast when they do come. Subtopic, poly to collate custom statistics. Export to PDF. Save. Don't you just okay. love it when you just talk and the computer does what you tell it to? Full stop. Open Photoshop. I was having a sandwich in the park at lunchtime and I remembered I had to send my mum a couple of photos, comma, so I started to get them Save into shape. File. Full stop. Crop tool. Black and white. OK. Save file as. Dogs for mum. Save. OK. Exit Photoshop. It makes life so much easier. Full stop. As you know, I'm good at talking. But my typing isn't up to much, full stop. And it even reads stuff back to you. That's good. Save file. Open Skype. View contacts. Down five. Select. Call home. Sorry, we're not here at the moment, but if you want to leave a message, we will uh, get back to you later. Mum, where are you? It's late. Don't you ever stay in in the evening? I did the photos and emailed them to you. Call me when you can. Hang up. Close Skype. Open Windows Live Messenger. Down. Select. Andrew, I've sent Mum the photos, as I bet you haven't. Exclamation mark. Send. Love, Kate. Send. Close window. Close window. Switch to Outlook. So, comma, I cracked the sales strategy and Mr Evans really liked what I'd done. Full stop. I dictated it all into the laptop. Hyphen. It was easy. Full stop. No typos. Full stop. The computer read it back to me and it sounded good. Full stop. New paragraph. All I have to do is talk to my laptop and it obeys me. Full stop. Wish Tom was like that. Hyphen. Why can't they develop that kind of software for boyfriends? Question mark. New paragraph. Time to go. Full stop. Got a big day tomorrow. Need my beauty sleep. Full stop. New paragraph. Love you. Hyphen. Call me. Full stop. New paragraph. Kate. Send. Close Outlook. Imvia Voice is a range of language-specific continuous speech software products offered by IBM. Via Voice is the only program that will run on older or less powerful computers. Via Voice has a great dictation ability. It converts your voice into text and also perform actions in response to your voice. Furthermore, voice recognition technology has been used in some of Microsoft's products, including Microsoft Dictation Office XP, Office 2003, Office 2007, Microsoft Loss for Windows XP, Windows XP Tablet PC Edition and Windows Mobile. However, prior to Windows Vista voice recognition was bundles with Windows Vista and released in 2006, making the operating system the first mainstream version of Microsoft Windows to other fully integrated support for voice recognition. Speech Magic is an industrial-grade platform for capturing information in a digital format. It has been developed by Philips Voice Recognition System of Vienna, Austria. Speech Magic features large vocabulary voice recognition as well as a number of services aimed at supporting accurate, convenient and efficient information capturing in healthcare IT applications. The technology is mainly used in the healthcare sector, however, applications are also available for the legal market as well as for tax consultants. The voice recognition system has many advantages and disadvantages. Voice recognition software is suitable for people with disabilities. Organization increases productivity, reduces costs and errors and also reduces operational costs. Furthermore advances in technology will allow consumers and businesses to implement voice recognition systems at a relatively low cost. 
For example cell phone users can dial pre-programmed numbers by voice command. Users can trade stocks through a voice a circumflex activated trading system and voice recognition technology can also replace touch tone dialing resulting in the ability to target customers that speak different languages. On the other hand voice recognition has many disadvantages. Firstly it's difficult to build a perfect system. Also about conversation every human being has differences such as their voice, mouth, and speaking style and conversations involves more than just word, for example, nonverbal communication stutters. Furthermore background noise is a task that even be difficult for humans to accomplish. In the future accuracy will become better and better, dictation voice recognition will gradually become accepted. Also small handheld writing tablets for computer voice recognition dictation and data entry will be developed, as faster processors and more memory become available. Greater use will be made of intelligent system which will attempt to guess what the speaker intended to say, rather than what was actually said as people often misspeak and make unintentional mistakes. Furthermore microphone and sound systems will be designed to adapt more quickly to changing background noise levels, different environments, with better recognition of extraneous material to be discarded. Scientists are currently working on the universal voice recognition translator of sorts, where people of any language can speak, and what they say can be translated into any language, in both speech and text formats. Through far in the future it may also be possible for computers to not only recognize what you are saying, but understand what you are saying and communicate back with you as well. Crazy. In conclusion voice recognition will revolutionize the way people conduct business over the web and will ultimately differentiate world-class e-businesses. Voice XML ties voice recognition and telephony together and provides the technology with which businesses can develop and deploy voice-enabled web solutions today. These solutions can greatly expand the accessibility of web-based self-service transactions to customers who would otherwise not have access and at the same time leverage a business existing web investments. Voice recognition and voice XML clearly represent the next wave of the web. In near future people will be using their home and business computers by speech not by keyboard or mouse. Home automation will be completely based on voice recognition system. Thank you for your attention.